Hi, DE Shave Talk with Kit, and I've been wanting to do this video for quite some time because my original 36 hour uh, bore brush break in video was deleted. So, first, let me show you. Here is the brush that I originally broke in on my 36 hour uh, break in procedure, and it's been broken in and as you can see it's in just looks incredible uh, get my face down in there and it's uh, soft even when not wet and when it is wet and in use it is just a marvelous really really marvelous brush so that's 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 where we want to end up with this one I just got this uh, 12 Five oh twelve fifty smoke brush. Uh, wanted another one since I was enjoying the thirteen oh five so much. And here's what it looks like right out of the box. As you can see, I thought this was important to see the incredible difference between a non-broken bore and a bore brush. So we're going to try to get this one looking like that one. So the first thing we're going to do, and I'm going to have to turn off the video, because I am going to, before I ever touch and start this procedure, I'm going to soak that brush for about 30 minutes. So, out for now. Okay, I've been pre-soaking. I've been pre-soaking uh, the brush in a little jar here, and you will notice that... I do not bring the water level up uh, anywhere above the metal ring. I do not want to soak any bore brush, any brush, do not want to soak the handle. I just want to soak the bristles. And later on when I put this uh, brush in the refrigerator to soak in cold water in the refrigerator for over 36 hours, for three days uh, this level of this is where the level of the water will be never soak the whole wooden handle okay so let's get started with the process so what first thing you do I'm gonna take this pre-soaked Samog and you notice it's uh, doesn't splay out very much or anything you know it's a it's not a broken brush. I'm going to put it into this one. This is a mixture of borax, a small amount of borax, with Arm and Hammer uh, OxyClean laundry detergent. That is the first. Uh, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do five steps. Uh, I'm going to dip it into the uh, mixture of borax and uh, laundry soap with oxyclean dip it in there and scrub it in my hand for five minutes then i'm gonna rinse out the brush very well shake the shake the brush out in the shower and then after i shake it out this is this is key for a bore brush to start breaking the hairs down Get yourself a towel, and after if you've washed washed it with um, your soap and borax, rinse it out, sh shaking out the water. You're gonna bring it on a towel, and you're going to mess back and forth on a towel, sc scrub it back and forth for for uh, three to five minutes every between every time. Every time you dip this in there, scrub it on your hands, rinse the brush out, shake it out. Between each process, you're going to bring it onto a dry towel and you're going to do this. This is going to start those uh, hairs splitting on you, which uh, this is the only part of the procedure you would not do when you were breaking down a badger brush because you don't need to split the hairs they don't split but with a bore brush you're going to want to add that step so step one dip it in there get some of that soap and the borax 
And then, here you go. I'm uh, doing this in my hand vigorously. And uh, I don't want to, I don't have time to, uh, to do this all the way. I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm going to do this. So let me tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to do that, rinse it out. I'm going to scrub that a lot longer than I just did. Uh, I'm going to scrub that for about five minutes each time I dip it into the soap. Shake it out. And then I'm going to rub it on a towel. One, two, three, four, five times in the borax and the OxyClean. And the more you scrub it, of course, and the more you rub it, of course, the better, better your results are going to be. But, of course, I can't take that time on camera. Then, after I do that five times with this, what I've got in here is some uh, shampoo. I'm going, to, I'm going to do the same procedure. I'm going to dip it in the shampoo. I'm going to scrub it in my hand for five minutes. I'm going to rinse it out, shake it out, and brush it. I'm going to do that three times with uh, shampoo. Then I'm going to take it, uh, uh, one of my favorite uh, heavy scented um, shave soaps, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put the shave soap on the brush. I'm going to scrub it for five minutes or so. I'm going to shake it out, and then I'm going to rub it on the brush. Okay. After I've done all of those procedures, so it's very key that you're listening to me. Uh, five times with that, uh, with the borax and the shampoo. Three times. Uh, I meant. Uh, let me let me correct myself. Borax and laundry soap. Five times. Shampoo. Three times. This is dipping it in, scrubbing it. Five minutes. Shake it out. Dry it. Scrub it. Then I am when I'm all done with all those cleaning procedures. I'm going to stick this brush in cold water, just like I told you I would, in cold water, and I'm going to let that sit for three days. When the brush is done, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to, I'm going to do another three uh, scrub procedures with, my, with whatever soap I plan on using with this brush. I'm going to do it three times. I'm going to shake it out. I'm going to scrub it. I'm going to let it thoroughly dry. And then when I get done with that, I'll come back and I'll show you. I'm hoping it's going to look somewhere close to this. These are not exactly the same bristles, so it may not look exactly the same, but it should look close to being broken like this one did after only 36 hours. Now, uh, in total, I will have used maybe, uh, maybe uh, an hour or two in actual work, but it will be take place over a three-day period so I'll come back to you when it's all done and I'll show you how it looks I'm out the shave talk with Kit. good morning <clears throat> okay we're back now where we had left off with this uh, 36 hour break-in procedure is that I had done all the scrubbing procedures with the laundry soap and borax, shampoo, and shaving soap. And uh, then I was going to put this brush back into the uh, into the um, shaving. Well, I put it into a glass bowl up to here. Dropped it in the refrigerator for about two and a half days. Technically, it should have been three, but I took it out at about two and a half. Uh, what I did was, what I did was then remove the brush and wash it out with a nice shaving soap. Two times, shake it out real good. Brush it on a towel. Let it dry. What do I have here? I consider this to be a completely broken brush uh, to the point of 80%. Now, let me bring up the one that I previously did, that uh, video that got deleted. Here is, I'm going to put them in together. Here is the Samog 1305. This is the Samog 1250. Uh, now, uh, if you look closely 
this one here is uh, uh, slightly uh, more fanned out and spread out. It has more split ends uh, and I can tell you it's slightly softer than this one. Uh, this one after the 36 hour uh, in the refrigerator uh, method uh, with all the scrubbing and whatnot was exactly like this one. Uh, what the difference is, I was reading about boar brushes is that uh, a lot of their splitting and fanning and breaking out takes place as you soak the brush, lather with the brush, clean out the brush, shake it out in the shower, and then brush it out on a towel and then hang it up to let it dry. The uh, process of letting it fully dry uh, after a shave is a big part of how this brush, after five shaves after the breakdown, break in, excuse me, this has got about five to six shaves after I broke it in. And that five or six shaves, uh, letting it dry out fully between the next time I used it, is what got it from here to here. So uh, I'm going to, uh, if you really take a look at this, this is, in my opinion, uh, it's ready to use. Is it as good as this one? Not quite. After about five shaves, using it, shaking it out, rubbing it on a towel, letting it hang to dry, I believe it will be exactly like this one because I followed exactly the same procedure. So here's what we have again, the two brushes both both applied with the same exact procedure uh, of the 36 hour break in so that's how it all came out and uh, I want to thank everybody for watching and if you're not a subscriber please hit the subscribe button I uh, appreciate any comments on what's been your experience breaking in your bore brushes uh, and I did want to clear up one thing. Uh, you can use the break-in method that I use for this bore brush, uh, eliminating two things. You don't need to scrub it on the towel uh, because, uh, because the badger brushes do not require, um, do not requ they don't, the ends don't split, so you don't need to work it on the towel. And you don't really need to put it in the refrigerator, but all of the cleaning methods to get the smell out of the these brushes uh, would apply perfectly for your badger brushes i used it all of mine they're all working beautifully right now so uh with that said this has been de shave talk with kit and we'll see you next time